Hi. Top half of the body off. Today we've uh, the welder coming tomorrow morning, so he'll weld the front half of the cage on for me permanently before I drop it on the floor. Might well, still clamp down. Um, put all the front suspension on completely. Rotors, discs, blah blah blah, <coughs> and steering column. Uh, got a flaming river joint there, and now we have steering for the first time, which is. You know, just a, a minor milestone. Um, obviously, the original um, uh, yellow car <coughs> and standard chassis have a tube here, and basically the dashboard doesn't go up any higher. Um, it sits here, basically. The steering column goes over the top of it, and everything's at that kind of level between there and then down to the bulkhead. Now, uh, one pro and one negative one pro and con for that uh, one con is the fact that if when i raised this dashboard section up here um and basically your dials if you've got a thick dial you're going to get in the way of it if you're going to put it heads up in the center um obviously with a flat lcd dash doesn't really cause much of a problem because basically it's you know it's about an inch away from the dash there's plenty of room to to put a modern style dashboard in there but original gauges that are deep gets in the way but what it does do is it raises all of these these bars up by you know three and a half four inches about 100 mil maybe thereabouts <coughs> what that in turn does is that means you can fit from the center back out i can triangulate at a higher angle now Obviously, the steering column is roughly in the same place. Um, it's a little bit different left to right, but apart from that, it's pretty close because obviously we moved these rails out further to give us more cabin space. <coughs> Whereas proves the old chassis would have a, a beam missing in this particular direction here because it would go through the steering column. Well, because we've raised this up, so we've raised this point here from there upwards, technically that beam can be over the top of the steering column which also means that <coughs> the steering column can be a lot closer to here because basically we're not having to worry about going through a beam or whatever else. <coughs> now you also imagine this point here is also an inch further up than normal because basically we've sectioned the chassis technically and lifted the whole thing up an inch. So we have a lot more uh, room and as you can imagine looking sort of that way uh, the steering column doesn't get close to your right foot which if you sit in a normal GTR you find that between clutch and brake and long tall feet which obviously I have closer to uh, size 12's uh, feet then the, um, your foot occasionally would <laughs> flick the bloody steering column not the best um, not massively noticeable, depending on how far you, your feet go back, but if you're a tall person with tall feet, then having this extra clearance here for the steering column is nice. So uh, as you can kind of see, the column doesn't really kind of, it goes quite close to this. So um, it's great, basically you've got more, more clearance um, for your feet, basically. So. <coughs> so I'm kind of happy about that. It's another, Another little thing. Um, pretty much, hopefully tomorrow afternoon she'll be uh, she'll be on the floor. Um, you can probably see now the cage is off a little bit more. The the bars that locate for the top. That's the, my new grab bars here and uh, little ones at the back. Also, the fact that you can also see the double bend in the roof tubes. Originally, it was straight from this rear bar and then just a bend to the front. Now we've put a bend at the back as well, giving it more of an egg shape, so technically for more in rollover, it's actually, a, it'll be slightly stiffer. Um, uh, as, as literally will take more force that way because it's got more of an egg shape shell to it. Flat bar like there, smack it in the middle, bomb. If you've got an egg shape that way, it's gonna to wanna to push out first. <coughs> so um, it's basically just a little bit stronger in roll. And technically that's what we've got it there for. So, um, <clears throat> yes, I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you the steering wheel. It was just the, just the thing, you know, it's just nice to see 
one more mechanical thing done out of the way. Um, obviously I've still got to go and get a, uh, a DC electronics control driver for this, um, which basically will replace the original uh, General Motors Mitsubishi unit and we'll be able to connect this directly to, to their control unit. Uh, seems to be the best way of going. Uh, seems to be, uh, oh, it has a 100 amp controller load. I think the original uh, GM unit has, only has a 40 amp, 40 or 60, I can't remember, controller. And I think it's, was it Magtech, the, the, the gent who races his ult. Uh, I think he basically had problems with the original GM unit, so he went to DC and has loved it. So <clears throat> I should be doing the same, buying their unit and controlling it that, that way. So yeah, just a few more things thrown on. Um, okay, shorty, see you later.